Now it's time to solve numerical problems. I told you five different equations in last class and these equations can be used to solve numerical problem related with gravitation, gravity, acceleration due to gravity and weight of the body. Now I'm using this equation to solve numerical problems. The first one, this, if two masses are separated by certain distance d, then the gravitational force between them, which is F, can be calculated by using this equation G m1 m2 by d squared. F equal to G m1 m2 by d squared. Mass of first can be taken as m1, mass of second can be taken as m2, and distance between them can be taken as d. Now, these three numericals, what I'm going to show you, all these numerical is of this type. And I'm going to solve one of them, the first one. How to solve this? Look at this. Mass of the Jupiter is this much. And that of the Sun is given this much. If the distance between the Sun and the Jupiter is this much, then what will be the magnitude of gravitational force? Means value of gravitational force between these two masses. Two masses are given and distance between them is given. And gravitational force between them is asked, as I told you, like this. And we are going to use this equation. Now, look at this. The given is mass of first body, Jupiter, can be taken as m1. m1 equal to 1.9 into 10 to the power 27 kg. And look at this mass of second body, that is mass of sun let's say m2 is given 2 into 10 to the power 30 kg and distance between them is given here distance between them can be denoted by d and d is 78 into 10 to the power 7 kilometer here we have a little uh, different condition these two are Masses are given in kilogram, but distance is given in kilometer. Kilometer is not according to SI system. That's why I want to convert it into SI system, that is meter. How can we convert? Kilometer can be multiplied by 1000. That means 10 to the power 3. Then it converts to meter. The same can be written like this. 78 into 10 to the power 7 multiplied by 1000 means multiplied by 10 to the power 3 now it is converted into meter and this is equal to 78 into 10 to the power 7 plus 3 if bases are same then the power can be added 7 plus 3 becomes 10 so our distance is 78 into 10 to the power 10 meter and the question is gravitational force f equal to question mark here we know the value of G is not given capital G. We can write ourselves value of G we know 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square by kg square. Now everything is complete. We are going to use the equation and the equation we have we have F is equal to G M1 M2 by D squared. Now M1 is equal to, here it is given, 1.9 into 10 to the power 27. And the value of M2 is given, given 2 into 10 to the power 30. And this G, we can write here, I am writing at the end of the same thing. This G equal to 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11. G is written, M1 is written, M2 is written. Now divided by D square. D is 78 into 10 to the power 10 and c square is given. Now, it will be better to write first the number only 1.9 
and another number is 2 and then another number is 6.67 and then power of 10 it's 10 to the power 27 another is 10 to the power 30 and another is 10 to the power minus 11 and all these numbers can be divided now if 78 into the power 10 is square means what we can write the same twice 78 into 10 to the power 10 again 78 into 10 to the power 10 now if we multiply all these numbers multiplying all these numbers by using calculator 1.9 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 6.67 is equal to 25.346 25.346 numbers are multiplied now power of 10 all of them have same base 10 so their power can be added or subtracted 10 to the power 27 plus 30 minus 11 in the same way in denominator also look at this 78 multiplied by 78 equal to 6084 6084 10 to the power 10 multiplied by 10 to the power 10 same base that's why we can add the power 10 to the power 10 plus 10 now it's time to divide 24.346 24.346 divided by 6084 is equal to is equal to 0 number are divided by now number is divided by number now 10 to the power 27 plus 37 becomes 57 minus 11 becomes 46 10 to the power 46 and in denominator we have in denominator what 10 to the power 10 plus 10 means 10 to the power 20 and when this goes up then we'll have 0 0.004166 into 10 to the power 46 if it goes up power becomes negative that's why 46 minus 20 now look at this zero point is at this position we have to put point after one digit so we can take this point to this place if it is taken to one two three digit right hand side then we can write four point one six six into since point is taken to three digit right hand side that's why the number this number should be multiplied by 10 to the power minus three if we, it was taken to left hand side then we'll put 10 to the power plus 3 this into 10 to the power 46 minus 20 becomes what 26 now lastly therefore force is equal to gravitational force equal to 4.166 into 10 to the power 26 minus 3 becomes 10 to the power 23 since unit of force is Newton that's why I'm writing unit this way we can solve the numerical problem related with F equal to G M1 M2 by D square this is very basic type of numeric